This is a digital photo. Well, at least it was a digital photo and then someone decided to print it out. They also decided to turn this image into this work of art. It's canvas. You hear it? And, and, and see, they, they put it on canvas to show that it looks good on canvas. I mean, not just because of the subject, who happens to be a beautiful woman, but they've actually styled this regular old digital photo so it looks like an Impressionist painter painted it. And the details are, are pretty sharp. I mean, at a distance, you would think that it was actually painted on this canvas. And, and I'm, I'm not going to hang this up, most likely, because then people would ask, well, who is that? I'm probably going to use it as a drum, you know, just like... probably wouldn't do that with your creations but if you wanted to create art out of your digital photos then you're looking at picking up snap art 2 just released from alien skin software i've been dealing with these guys for a number of years and the reason why i like them uh, they create amazing photoshop plugins of course i used to use their plugins with paint shop pro back on windows it uh, works just as well uh, with any photoshop filter compatible uh image editor or you know creation tool that can take Photoshop filters. Uh, this is version 2, so they've improved quite a lot. Of course, this is the CD. It's not that exciting. I'm actually going to zoom in here on a part of their website, the manual, to show you uh, the, the effects that come with SnapArt 2. Uh, Alienskin.com, by the way, if you want to take a look at all their products, and they've got a few. Uh, all of them are really, really good. They've been doing this, as I said, for a number of years. So the gallery here, let me zoom in. Uh, they've got a color pencil effect. They've also got an oil paint effect, impasto, and I believe this is uh, the, the effect that was used on uh, the, the painting. Well, I guess it's not really a painting, it's a, it's a print, but it looks like a painting. There's no actual texture beyond the canvas texture, it just looks like it has texture. Uh, then there's comics, pastel, pen and ink, pencil sketch, watercolor, stylize, and pointillism. And, you know, you're saying to yourself, well, Chris, I, I've already got these effects in, uh, you know, generics, uh, you know, the, the, the tools that come built in. Yeah, but you just can't really tweak enough to get it perfect. And that's the thing about Alien Skin software. Uh, they would never create a tool that's already been created. Certainly, if it had been, they'd kick it up a notch. Uh, Alien Skin has done, uh, as I said, this for a number of years. And when they asked if I wanted to take a look at what they had, I was like, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'd definitely be down for that. It, it works with, it looks like, yeah, Photoshop, uh, Photoshop Elements, Paint Shop Pro, as I pointed out too, and uh, Adobe Fireworks as well. Mac and Windows compatible, which is nice. Uh, again, if you're looking to create things like this out of things like this, Snap Art number two is likely something you're going to want to consider. Don't just use the filters that are built in to Photoshop. You're just not going to get as much detail surfaced uh, if you go that route. It's just always going to be the case. You want to rely on software that works. And even if you think, oh, I don't need snap art, I'm just going to recommend stopping by alienskin.com. I don't have any coupons right now. However, stay tuned, coupons.lockergnome.com. I'll see if I can negotiate an offer for you on this product or any other product from Alien Skin Software, especially if there's a positive reaction to this video. My question for you is, what filters do you use in Photoshop or your photo editor? I mean, third-party filters, Photoshop filters, if you use any at all. Just curious to know. Uh, you know, trying to, again, see what the audience is into at this point in time, at least the audience that happens to be watching this video. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Drop me a line if, uh, you know, you've got something to say. Of course, you're welcome to respond to this video too. Share it. And then you're also welcome to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Chris Perillo. Join us in our community of tech enthusiasts. That's geeks.perillo.com. And of course, uh, I've also got a blog, chris.perillo.com. And then this video feed that's going live uh, all the time on the internet, even if I'm not here, which may be the case, or even if the stream is muted, which also may be the case, the chat room is very much a part of the video when it's going. And it's always going, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. Dot com. We'll see you later.